guys, this is Duckan and I'm playing on the mind crack feed the beast server and here I have a little makeshift record farm I was trying out some things with the records that's what we got so far so yeah, works out just fine, I don't know if my skelly is still in there, oh no it despawned didn't give him any armor but yeah, wanted to see um, if any special records can be acquired by the yeah, normal tactic of killing creepers. That doesn't work, but I wanted to try out something else because, yeah, I have plans with the penguins and a good show needs good music. So, this is one of these weighted storage cubes from the portal mod and supposedly if you hold a rose in your hand and right click on it, yeah turns into a companion cube okay so how do we break it now uh, that is the question can we break it can't hit it it's floating there pushable and it's just there how do we how do we get it back <laughs> good question hmm right clicking on it now it says it loves me shift clicking ah we got him punched him with a fist a few times that always works so I want to use that thing and put it in a furnace it loves me so much but it has to go and smelt it down and that should give me a nice valve still alive record yeah sweet let's put that in our jukebox you have one over here this was a Why is it so What does it affect? For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. Never Oh wasn't there a bug still? That the sound doesn't get adjusted or something of these jukeboxes? like that or something well in any case that's the record and this one can then I think we can smelt it again and then we will get a radio loop let me check um, wait you oh no um, ah uh -huh. Yeah, if we smelt it, we get the radio loop from it. And we can also make another record. So let's try that. <coughs> ah, stuck. Okay, let's see. Putting it in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, we got the radio loop. And now the radio radio here oh that's actually quite simple hmm 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 radio so as soon as you place it down it starts playing so <coughs> in the mod there's of course blocks that can place down and break blocks. So I want to try that, you know, have a setup that puts the radio down and we switch it off. Block breaker breaks it again. And then we'll see. 
Yeah, that should work out because when we have a nice penguin show with multiple penguins floating, I already made six arcane levitators. Um, we need good beats. And that definitely works. Not wearing the goggles of revealing at the moment. Okay. Should definitely make me some new ones. Okay, let's get the radio back. Let us work uh, out how we will automate that. Alright. So here's the thing. I cannot break it. I wanna try something else. Does it react to current? No. Then let's try this. Radio. Is it free floating? Hopefully not. What? Can't break the block. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Can a turtle do it, maybe? Okay, then we need... Then we need to try a different block. On, off. Huh. Let me try something. Um... I just... Did it du duplicate? What did I do? I clicked on it with a deployer, then double left clicked it. What? Is that a phantom item? No, it's real. How did that just happen? It duplicated. Wait. How? I was pushing it around somehow. It was in there. Must be not a real item or what? Huh! It duplicated. Again. What? <laughs> Huh? Let me try to replicate that. Okay, what we need to do is... Put the radio down. Click that thing a few times. Leave it open. Break it? No. And the deployer deploys it. That's sure. What the heck? What? <laughs> well, we can deploy it from there, but why can't we... Maybe if we put it directly on the block breaker. Let's try this. How did you... That's so weird. Just saw it duplicated the things. <laughs> Crazy. Now we get three. Oh no, wait, it's blocked. It should not work like that. Catchy tune, but it can get on your nerves. Okay, let's try lever. Mm. 
button. Please break it. Nope. It sure works for other blocks. Yep. Hmm. That thing can place it, so yeah, that works. Why can't we pick it up? That is the big question. Eh? Hmm. What else could we use? Okay. <laughs> Turtles, baby. Oh, give me back my radio. Turtles. The answer to all your questions. If you can't break it with anything, use turtle. Okay. Sweet. So, okay, and I gotta make another combat turtle and give it a very simple program. Just attacking, it doesn't have to drop, nothing. But as soon as it detects something in front of it, then it has to go here. I tried if I can break, um, break the thing while it is moving, you know, like a falling entity. That didn't work, but I can push it. We can push it with a piston, so if it would be there, playing, we push it over right in front of the turtle, turtle wax it, below the turtle there is a void pipe and put it back into the system and to deploy it, we use the deployer, that works. Okay, so now... Time to come up with a prototype system for that. Okay, let's set that up. Need to make me a turtle and yeah, be right back. Alright, here's our new turtle. His name is Radio and he's very simple. Ow! <laughs> he will whack you. Let's terminate the program. Control T. Let's have a look at the program as simple as it gets. Here we go. While true, do turtle attack, sleep uh, point one, and that's it. Yep. And we named it startup, so whenever the turtle gets placed down or the chunk gets loaded, it does its job. And now we need to test it with the pistons if it actually works. So piston would be there, radio would be here, turtle would be oops, facing the wrong way. This way. It should be ready to go. Oh, it's not. Why didn't it Oh, it is. Okay, maybe we have to push it to a certain position. Let me see. Oh, don't tell me we cannot push it in front of it with a piston. That would suck. Man, it's getting complicated. Then we have to do it a little bit... Ah, okay. Now it worked if we directly place it. Yeah, it gets more and more complicated. <laughs> Just for that simple thing, but that's how I like it. Okay, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. It worked. Good. Good, 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 to good. Okay, now we need some obsidian pipe. Test it with yeah, didn't I have some? Yeah. Alright, so. Um, let's use some wood to build the prototype here. Uh, let's go up a bit. Say we put the pipe here. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Pick up this dangerous turtle here. Go up. Turtle must sit here. Okay, let's do this. Sitting there. I guess a block to stand on. We put the piston there. Deployer would go here, for example. Okay, we put a radio in. Let's get some levers. And probably some more pipe. Um, stone transport pipe. Just for the test and see if the radio pops out here. Okay. We wanted to deploy it. Okay. The music plays. No, it sits too low. Mm. If we power, I think if you power obsidian pipe, um, I think if you power obsidian pipe, it can also suck through full blocks. Okay, I figured it is redstone engines we have to use. So let's put two on there. The more power we put to it, the stronger it gets. Hmm. hmm. Oh, took it. Took it. Okay, let's see. See if it has enough reach. Doesn't look like it. I think I have to reconfigure. I want to point the pipe correctly and see if we can get it to work. Okay, let's test it again. Dirt block on there. Now we don't get anything. Let's put three redstone engines there and see what happens. Maybe we have to wait until they kick in gear. We can also switch all three on. And see, the question is, can it suck up items through a block? See? doesn't look too successful. Mm -hmm. Half slap maybe. Or iron bars could potentially work. Maybe the item can slip through. Okay, that doesn't look promising to me. No. Okay. Next try, half slap. Uh -huh. No, that ain't doing it. Mm. 
If it would work, it would work immediately. Mm. Let's see what happens if it's open. Mm. Huh. They're not really awesome. What? Why does it not connect? Oh, okay. This is powered obsidian pipe now. Well, okay, then we have to do it a little bit differently. But sh still should work when we powered obsidian pipe. Okay, I reconfigure again. Okay, next try. Oh yeah, he's mad. Good, that's what we wanted. <laughs> All right, so now we got the pipe here on the side. No power to it yet. Let's see. Okay, deploying the radio. Pushing it over. Breaking it. Falls to here. Pipe didn't get it. So now let's put some. Oh wow. <laughs> Stop it, bugger. Some power to the pipe. Mm. To move this lever. Okay. Oh no, bad spot. <laughs> uh, here and here. Here. Okay, now this thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Mhm. Mm okay. Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then we just have to send it into the deployer, and the machine could start again. Let's test it one more time. Confirm. <laughs> Oh, fell too far away. Need to prevent that. Could use glass. Yeah, later on. Don't want to use it now. Okay. Try again. Sucked up. Okay, one more try. Oh, so we can really consider it. Ah, oh, great move. A functioning design. Where did I put him? Here. Let's do a mess test with three. And rip. One, two. Okay, let's go. Got it. Sweet. 
that works. There's my one last radio. Hey. Huh? Is it gone now again? Because, I know, here it is. It's freaking out. I thought because it was a duplicate. Man, that's weird. Well, okay. It rains. I think Isa just locked out. I'll be back. Okay. Automation complete. We have a toggle latch in there and we have a clock. At the moment I have it uh, or timer set to 10 seconds. What happens? Press the button, clock gets activated, runs for 10 seconds, then gives out a pulse and this is the reset line that comes back and resets the ledge. So let's check it out. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds for now, you can set it to any time you want of course. Thing goes off, radio is sucked away, everything stops, we are ready again. Right now I'm just using the gold pipe below, I might, you know, put the things in a different position in the end. But yeah, this uh, jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! I love Red Power too. <laughs> Crazy! T flip flop basically, pulse lengthener. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so this would be one part of the show. So now we have to decide, you know, how we determine a payment. Maybe somebody pays, then a warded glass block comes down and then you can reach the button and press it. And then the show starts. Penguin show. Hello guys. Are you ready? <laughs> it might be a bit huge in the end, so the show is really cool and we need ice and whatnot. I don't know if it would fit over, actually fit over at the, where we have all the shops. Mm -hmm. The plots are pretty small. Maybe I could grab two. Hmm. Thor's hammer. <laughs> really looks nice. Why does he have pink in the handle? Oh my god, Thor's hammer, the most manly weapon of all times, and it has a pink handle. The mighty Thor sent this hammer 2013 to aid the bad Viking. <laughs> Where was his entry door? Where was the door? Oh, there is no door. Why is there no door? Hmm. Let's check here. This is the shop. Oh, yeah. We can send out the bed signal. Is it deactivated now? Yeah. <laughs> you can't have it run all the time. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, those plots are really small. Don't know if I can really build on here. Hmm. I might have to do it on my plot. So when we move out, at least our plot has a nice use, you know. Could be the <laughs> the circus of the town. Man, these boots are amazing. Whoa. Sometimes the server can't keep up. Testing frames right now, just running around and yeah. It's going up and down but it seems to be fairly stable. At the moment nobody's on. But that seems to work. Okay. Eat something. 
Okay, so now, as we have the radio system in place, basically, and the floating, floating penguins is there as well. We tested that last time. We can use arcane levitators, and basically, uh, you know, we could set a timing here, one minute show or whatever, and then we have to send different pulses um, to different. Um, arcane levitators so they're on for a yeah, certain amount of times maybe randomly we could also make them go off randomly but it's a timing issue they cannot yeah if a timer receives a double pulse it will reset so I have to think about a system to do that but with what we get here I'm really satisfied fully automated radio station <laughs> I don't know, maybe it could have been done super simple, but the way I did it here, I think it's a nice system. Not too resource intensive. You can, you can even make it more compact. Includes a turtle, which is always fun. And with that said, I'd say that's it for today. <laughs> I'll keep on messing around with that a little bit. Maybe you guys can leave feedback. Um, Reddit, Minecraft Reddit always works good. I check that out every day. And yeah, if you just post their uh, idea for Doc M, for the Penguin Dance Show or whatever, you know how to set up the intervals, go for it. I'll check it out in any case. And so I can find a video um, if you post something on the tubes or something that's that works really good. All right, be much appreciated. Um, so yeah, Beef S. He found the flying birds, by the way, he liked it a lot and asked if he maybe um, could work on there a little bit. And that, of course, will teach me a bit more about the stuff there. And um, when we do that, we said we might want to do it around the weekend. So, yeah, hopefully you can expect a little dual come <laughs> with me and Vintage Beef soon. And that's it for today. See you soon. I do it one more time. <laughs> we heard that song quite often. <laughs> bye bye. Wow. Oh.